All right, everybody, welcome out to our first real episode of Your World. Um, what we're gonna be trying to do today is we are packing our bags for a trip that's gonna take us from our home in Southern Arizona out to California. We wanted to film this episode about um, harvesting stingrays. So right now there's a population boom of stingrays on our west coast. And that's because there's this storm called an El Nino. And that's really warm water currents coming up the west coast, which causes awesome waves. Um, but even more than that, it brings in all of these warm water creatures. And so we're getting tons and tons of stingrays that people are stepping on on the beach and getting stabbed in the, in the foot or ankle or, or even calf area I've seen. There's a lot more people that are getting injured because of that. And I think that um, by harvesting a couple of these stingrays, it may help uh, the risk go down just a little bit more. Um, so it'll be doing something good for the environment for us, um, as well as thinning out a population that is booming in a place that normally doesn't have it, really helps the ecosystem to, to grow. Um, I hope you guys are looking forward to this video. Right now I'm gonna play whatever videos I got while in California. Of course, we're here at home right now, and so we're just packing for the trip. Um, so if you don't see this video, it's because we didn't catch anything. But if you're seeing this video, which I'm positive you are, that's because we caught something out there in California. Um, so let's get right to it. I'll see you in Oceanside. So this little fish that we have here is a mackerel. You can catch tons of them out here on the Oceanside Pier, but today I'm gonna to be using the tail of it to fish for our stingray. I always keep a little rag with me so that I can clean off my knife and make sure my hands aren't dirty. So all you really need is a couple ounce weight and a hook. So I'm going to be using the tail, but you can use the head if you want to as well, or even the middle portion of the body. I'm going to try putting my hook through the meat and around the spinal column so that if the hook is pulled on hard, it's not going to pop out of the fish. So here we're going to be casting out pretty much as far as we can. There's no specific place that's going to catch you rays better than another because rays move as they're, as they're hunting and looking and foraging for food. So right here, I'm just going to let it sink all the way to the bottom. Once I know that it hits the bottom, I'm going to turn down my treble so that if a ray does hit, it's going to zing my rod instead of pulling my rod straight into the water you're going to hear your line just pull out so it's super loose right here loose enough that you can just pull on the line and it's not going to move your rod at all you want to make sure that you have that so that you don't lose your fish Side. All right, set it down. It will. You don't want to touch it, bud. All right. All right. He's got bars coming down his back. Look at how pretty this fish is. Beautiful. He's got a bunch of hooks on his back. 
go. All right, get buddy. Over. I want to see him. Let's get him back in the water as quick as possible. Yeah. Well, this one we're not going to keep. There's not a lot of meat in this. <laughs> we'll borrow the spot. I'll sell you the rights of my video. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I'll give you this macro. Smile. Okay. Toss over him. Toss over him. Toss over his head. Take your time. Take your time. Right there. Right there. Wait. 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 Trying to pull him in. Okay, he's coming in. Toss over his head. Toss over his head. Right here. Let's go. Okay, got him. Up, up, up. Wait, one more. One more. Hey, hold, hold him stable for Lloyd. Get him right in the ass. Hold on, hold on. I'm gonna get in the ass. Bring me. No, I've got it. Oh, we got it. We got it. Hey, bring it out. Uh, Three balls. Pull up, pull up, pull up, pull up. Let's go back. is a bat ray. So because we gaffed this guy, we wanted to make sure to put him out of his misery as fast as possible, but we needed to remove the tail and the barb so that we couldn't get injured. So 
I'm gonna put him out of his misery real quick. So what I've done is I've basically punctured his brain with my knife uh, to put him out of his misery. But you may see a couple of small movements here or there. And it's the same effects that you have with the chicken with his head cut off. Is they're going to keep moving because of his nervous system. Um, but he is dead. He doesn't feel anything. Put him in front of you. Not my friends as a bat ray. Alrighty guys, that was so exciting. Um, thank you guys so much for watching this episode where we went and caught stingrays out in California. Um, but right now we want to introduce you to what video number three in this sequence is, is we in the next episode are going to teach you guys how to clean, fillet, and prepare your stingray to be able to, to turn it into a meal that is undescribably good. So thank you guys so much for watching this. Um, if you have any comments, please don't forget to leave them below, um, as well as we would love to get a like from you guys and a subscribe. It helps our, um, our YouTube channel grow, which helps us make more videos and know that what we're doing is just as exciting to you guys as it is to us. Thank you so much for being a part of this wonderful process. Um, I hope you guys have an awesome time getting to experience your world.